If you want to share PowerPoint and Zoom, there's a few different ways you can share. There is the standard way, which I'll show you first, but I wanted to explain my setup. This is, I have recording the entire screen of my main monitor, where I have Zoom in the center, and then I also typically would have participants open and the chat open, as well as the presenter view so I can see what's coming up next. I have a second screen that has my PowerPoint show, which you don't see on this particular recording. Now, typically, most people will share like this. They will pick their content, usually the PowerPoint show or screen one. So if we pick the PowerPoint show and then they simply hit the blue share after they've selected that content. And then you can see the shared content. On the Zoom screen, it will look like the video of the person or the gallery and then the shared content. But there are other ways to share. So let me go and pick another way. So there are different layouts. Now, you may have been familiar with the advanced sharing of PowerPoint, which was a feature where you would be in front of the slides. One of the things I hated about that was that your animations wouldn't work. Like if you had bullet points or content coming in one at a time, it wouldn't work. But that problem has been solved and you can just simply decide how you want to share. And I'm going to do this from the screen because as, if you'll notice, although it will still work when you share, if you select PowerPoint, it might not show up. But if you select screen, it does. But if for whatever reason you can't select a screen because maybe you're only using one screen, rest assured that this will still work. You just won't see it in the preview. So I'm using a screen so I can do this. And this was the standard way of sharing where the shared content is just what's on the PowerPoint screen. You can also have yourself in front of the PowerPoint. You might want to design your PowerPoint so you can do this. Just to let you know, you can move yourself into different places. You can make, you can change the size. You can even like move yourself over a little bit. And then, so if I share this, which I will do now, this is my video. It's with a black screen, but the shared content looks like this. If you can see the tiny little screen with the screen sharing, that's what that looks like. Now you can try different things too. So if I go back to this, and I want to try different layouts. There's two other layouts I could try where I have me just as part of the screen and the PowerPoint as part of the screen. And if you share that, that's what the shared screen will look like. Interestingly, you can have wallpaper, but it sort of seems to change the layout to a square layout. So if I look at the shared content, why well, I have to actually share it. So that's what the shared content looks like. I'm not sure why I'd necessarily want a square screen, but it looks like that's how that content would be shared. So if I go back to sharing options, I will go back to none. And again, you can move yourself around, you can make yourself bigger, you could move yourself a little more to the side. A lot of different things that you could do. Then there is the side-by-side -side as the shared content. Not entirely sure why you would want to use this, but let's see what happens. If I, it doesn't change the size. It does not look like you can change the size of the slide. And if I share this, what does it look like? It looks like that, kind of as you would expect. And then if I go back and I select a background, again, it becomes square and this becomes smaller. Again, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. As I'm looking at these different options, I do like this option where I'm part of the screen. Maybe I'll make myself a little bit 
smaller and maybe just have a slight overlap with the shared content. If you design your PowerPoint so that you can be on them, then you can do it. What I wanted to point out why this is an improvement over the previous advanced sharing is as you can see, I do have to start sharing. So as you can see, as I go on to other slides, I can have my bullet points come in. Again, I don't think I'd pick with me in front of the slide for this particular presentation, but practice it and see what works for you.